Hello, traders. Welcome to episode 296. Tio Betray. Oh my god, we are four episodes away from 300. I can't believe it, man. This is crypto and Bitcoin really doing much of nothing, right? Just using that 75% trend line of our equidistant channel as a resistance point again, right? We wicked up and a uh, little volume doing nothing, right? So uh, broadening bottom still, still seems like that's kind of the, the culprit of pattern development, the form of consolidation that we are seeing currently. All right, death cross happened. It's still happening. And I, I'm like, dude, this is just what's so weird. All right, I mean, I don't see it that often, but I just want people to look, right? Uh, just so where we are right now, it's like right here, okay. Jules man. Yes. Jules man, dude, thanks so much for the 1212 contribution. Yes, this is our new our new addition to the tip jar and now a variation of different amounts. So 1212, 24, 24, 48, 48, and 96, 96 are all different. So uh, you know if anyone ever wants to contribute they're going to contribute anyway they might as well tip that amount instead of just the standard amount you're right so uh a little easter egg in the you know tip variation thing okay so jules man looking forward to it at some point in the future maybe uh it'll happen okay not really banking on it but either way it was for you man all right Sweet, the lights are working. Oh my God, things are coming together. I had to uninstall my Logitech drivers because they just don't work. They don't work with Threadripper. They are too scrubby. So, uh, sucks, man. All right, anyway. So look, let me show you real quick where we kind of are right now. Yeah, that's like it, really. Okay. So let's just look, impulse down, impulse down, chopped around, chopped around dumped, dumped, rallied, rallied to a higher high than your previous high, higher high than your previous high, uh, dumped, we dumped, uh, wicked to the upside, ran up, what did we do? We hit the 75% trend line of the equidistant channel again the second time, did it here again. So what, I mean like, this is just crazy man. All right, what if we were to dump next, we dump next, right, I guess a little bit higher, than this, uh, than this low, where right? we go down to like 35.22, and then we rally again, all right, we run up, okay? Just weird, man, predictable patterns. This is doing almost identical price action. Uh, is that not like body, okay? Of course, it, it could be just nothing. Oh, just a coincidence, man. All right, yeah, sure coincidence, but it's still really cool uh, and a little fascinating just to look at, all right, since we like charts. And we're weird like that, okay? But if we're to talk about the Gartley pattern, the potential Gartley pattern, because we have not hit a 78% retrace. Oh, dude, you missed the you missed the 24-24, man. Dude, just man, thanks for the 48, 48. Oh man. Jules underscore Santana tipped forty-eight dollars and forty-eight cents. Let's see. Uh, I think I left off. Okay, the variations, I gotta change that. I gotta make the, them last a little longer on screen, the visuals. Okay, noted. Visuals, variation. Okay, sweet. Dude, you missed out though. You missed out because there is a form he goes from Super Saiyan after Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, so we know what it is, but all right. Thanks, dude. Much love. All right, so, uh, Anyway, we're looking for between 33, really like, you know, it said that you can retrace from B to C all the way down to the 1618. I get it, but then that, that doesn't make, it's kind of weird to me because then that would make us get like a 88.6% retrace, which isn't, I mean, which I get it, that would make it maybe somehow uh, the bat pattern, the bullish bat pattern and not the Gartley pattern, but that's kind of weird because of this. So uh, we would expect to see us run between the 1414 and the 1272 of a target of entry for a trade setup, all right? So I just haven't quite gotten there yet, man. We just got so close, right? 3480, and we were looking for 3420. Is that a joint? 1272, all right? So let's just see a diamond stuff. There was a diamond here. Let's see if we form another diamond again, doing the exact stuff. We broke down and made a higher low and ran up. We would start making that diamond for real, 
Oh yeah, pink man. Pink coming from crypto. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's it for Bitcoin. Uh, my God, man, top gainers in the stock market today. Financials, banks killed it. All right, Goldman Sachs was the top performer of them all. All right, a huge, huge rally. I think it was a four-week high, something like that. It's been like a month since we've seen anything like that. So, uh, yeah, man, crazy stuff. Uh, crypto market, nah, you know, not too much stuff going on. But, man, stock market just getting what's happening you know we've got uh, very small little amounts of price action going on receding volume slightly higher highs dude it just seems ripe for a move down but of course it can do anything at once but it's got all the makings and characteristics of a potential move down coming soon okay just receding volume that's calm before the storm whatever way you want to look at it all right and the cues forming a very large rising wedge pattern after that impulse and we're at like the 60 we just cracked that 62 percent retrace man so just i don't know man not really looking that great on stock market okay uh anyway but hey it was a great rally it's been a great rally and it's been going on all right we've recovered a lot so so logo is free red ripper is working well you see yes it sure is it's fantastic my last i mean i had to figure it out on my own my t got he was asking me why I even did it, but dude, I was getting stuttering issues like I was getting before I reinstalled Windows on a new solid state and completely just redid it. Uh, dude, like my, my mouse was like freezing. My keyboard, the it's also a Logitech with my mouse. They were both freezing at the same time and crash, like the driver was crashing over and over and over. And so I uh, had to just uninstall them. And once I uninstalled, it was just like, it was just like a, an ailment or like a disease that had been cut out. All right, so sweet man. Anyway, so William Jeffrey uh, Bradford, I'm glad you uh, like the graphics, man. Magic uh, Mag Carl, good day. Jeremy S, what's up, dude? What's up, uh, Claude? What am I doing with your thread ripper, John Legend? Uh, using it. If I don't use it, I lose it. <sighs> King Logan, what was that, man? What's the uh, link, dude? What is that link? I don't get it. It's an emoji. Coffee for crypto. Erwin coffee for crypto, man. That's right. Got that Ethiopian. This is my third cup today, dude. I've been busting it for many hours getting all this graphical stuff set up, the variations, all these things. Okay. So, so about the beeswax. The kebab. What kind of GPUs do I have there? Shining uh, two NVIDIA <clears throat> 1080 Ti's. Mr. Kebab. What's up, uh, Tetra Dragon? Brad's bringing out the eggplant. Glad you're enjoying it, or you like it, Bobby Man. Thanks for being here. Rick Schmidt says, just says Kangs. Good day to be Kangs. I agree, man. Coach K, Ultra Instinct Jesus, man. Speaking of Ultra Instinct, uh, Jules, man, are you ready to go to the final form? You know what the final form is, dude, if you want, man. I'm just saying, so. Arthur, glad you like it. What's up, uh, O'Sullivan? I don't know about that, man. I highly doubt it. I just do charts, all right? So, yeah, yeah, MK, look at the cues, dude. We were just talking about it. Yeah, for sure, man. I've been looking at it all day, dude. Phil stopped in to check out the layout. Drop a like. Thanks, uh, little man. Might. Rich Mintz wants Neo. Sure, dude. Neo. It is. The one. Dribble on the devil. I don't know what. I guess so, yeah, Jules, man. We will dribble on the devil, man. Sleepy Cat, me 2.0. Pretty much. Dude. Use the rocks, but dude, I gotta see this. Is this like, can I play it on stream though, Bradford? What uh, King Logan posted? Let me know, and I will, all right. A Montana man. Dude, it's Montana. I hadn't seen you in a minute, man, so what we'll do for Montana, man. Homecoming Jesus Child. Okay, man. like the all is well in the world again in terms of just the tech dude the tech has been tough it's been a three week ongoing battle or what season five of game of coins which we're on season five game of coins is my pretty much my journey uh live streaming or you know being in crypto for that matter okay and really the main antagonist for now unless something else rears its ugly head has been technology all right What's up, BG, man? 
Princess Riley. You're hot, Princess Riley. What's up, uh, Julia? You're also hot. What's up, uh, Texas Crazy Horse Dude? Crypto Namicon. You're addicted to the channel. Gotta get your daily dosage. Uh, dead. Uh, you probably don't want to see me dead. I'm probably not very good. Not alive, man. Okay. I gotta trim my beard, man. This is bad. Getting out of, out of hand. Hey, Robert Kirk. <clears throat> the garlic pattern? Yeah, dude. The garlic pattern. Oh, my God. Rejection at the 618 from the swing high. Uh, which what context are we talking about? Texas Crazy Horse, man. Okay. Been real busy. Montana, man. Well, uh, glad you're back, dude. All right. Garlic pattern come with breadsticks. Uh, yeah, yeah, the gar garlic pattern does. It also comes with Brad Garlic House, Garlic Shack. All right, just getting through chat. All right. Oh wow, DBZ Brawley in theaters tomorrow. Wow. How uh how appropriate, Jules? Right, that we're doing this. Chalen, did you even know this man? Wow, we're like promoting that cinematic. That's crazy. That's next level stream stuff, dude. We just accidentally did that that's cool man uh, thanks so much for the 160 people tuned in all right between twitch and youtube y'all are amazing uh, y'all are like the same people and i really do appreciate each and every one of you okay because uh this is a qualitative community all right what's up uh, louis marriott okay sweet we did it man we did it we got through it let's go to ethereum check it out i'm sure not too much has changed with it either you go figure, right? Go figure. At this point, maybe we can make an adjustment. All right. We have technically kind of the same thing going. I don't. We don't really have a touch point. Okay, hold on. All right. Let's try the. Let's just. Uh, this is the only anchor point, right? So same stuff. Same exact pattern going on. That just broadening pattern. All right. Not much structure on either asset, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, we uh, I mean, just beating a dead horse here. Why do we break to the upside here? Because we had the bullish divergence that added critical layer support. Is so that good for good for Ethereum? Uh, but since look what we do from your high to low, retrace 38% of the way and sold off, and we've just really been nothing. Okay, really been doing nothing. Man, I hate the new Apple thing. So hey, Death Cross is upon us. That 50 MA, the purple line. Is that a joint? Time to smoke a 160% today. Looks like the lawsuit is finally am going to make some cash in the you look at love my Jesus peoples. Hey, uh, CMGO Holdings, thanks for the 420. Is that a joint contribution? Thanks, man. Much love and, uh, Happy to hear that uh, all is well or going, you know, the sun is rising or the clouds are clearing in your neck of the woods. All right. Thanks, dude. Much love. But uh, not so great for Ethereum, right? Below all three moving averages, we've rejected prices above the 200 MA and 20 moving average. One, two, three times now. All right. Going on four. So... Riding bottoms are normally bearish continuation patterns, but this is pretty steep, man. Steep downsliding trend line. Uh, we did have fibs drawn. If we do break this 119 area, I think we're going real quick to 100 bucks. Trying to get there. Yep, $100 is the 1272 fib extension. And then you got the 9380, 1414, and then the $84, 1618. All right, so can't hold this. 113 buckle up all right that's it for ethereum okay xrp us day <clears throat> excuse me screw me i'll just go to uh, the next game right. okay man still just what same stuff i mean it's the same stuff can you believe it that uh, cryptos are doing the same thing as bitcoin Oh, but I thought that it was different, man. I thought it was a different world we lived in, right? Just still not very good looking patterns, right? They're not, not much structure to them. 
they haven't been around very long, so I don't even know if they're real. Okay, so you can clearly see <clears throat> two diverging trend lines, one going down, one going up. That is the broadening bottom. That's what we're seeing, but we can see that we have a looming critical of sloping support around 30 cents, 29.5 cents. This stems all the way back to July of 2017. Do you remember we discussed this before? Here it is, man. Here it is. 2017, July. What were you doing? Okay, seems like we had the impulse up and we're just down sloping. And with the down sloping uh, price action, we have contraction. Down sloping price contraction equals a falling wedge pattern. And that's bullish, but we don't want to hit the bottom trend line of the wedge again. 21 cents. That's very, very, very bad technically. A serious damage. All right, so you do not want to fall below 30 cents or 29 cents, okay, or anywhere uh, below like 28.5 cents. Even coming down to 25 cents, man, you've lost uh, a lot of value just trying to hit a critical support. Might be worth it to try to take a shot, but dude, when you crack a upsliving support you've held on to for such a long amount of time, uh, chances are the big boys, anyone that's smart, is not wanting to really get in. You break it, you hold below it, and then you come down here. I don't know how many people are going to be taking shots, okay? I mean, they could be, but man, don't fall below the gold upsloping trend line that we've been holding on to, the accumulation trend line. All right, so if we were to fall down, entry, low risk, high reward opportunity, we could bounce and maybe we break the downslope resistance and we could have a nice run all the way up to the 618 to the golden retrace at 59.9 cents. All right. But we know that there are targets where we could hit and we could fail to break anywhere above that. And it's gonna be between 47.9 cents and again, like 60 cents right around there. Okay. That's it, bullish convergence on the daily, right? Bullish convergence. Got an audio. We're good, man. We're good. Uh, thanks for the 180 people tuned in right now. If you didn't know, if you even care, which a lot of people in here don't care, that's fine. But uh, Jalen Hurts, Alabama's backup quarterback, he is transferring to Oklahoma. Oklahoma, man. All right. What I want to do real quick is uh, I know Billy's probably not in here, but we'll just tell him about it. But we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay. This is hilarious, all right? This was uh, the date of the 9th, all right? The 9th of January or January, all right? Here we go, green screen, technical difficulties, okay? JTOG, sorry, behind you. Hopefully that uh, you enjoyed that uh, Neo analysis. Trying to see even where I was at. Did I read the news about US? The US is not recognizing Venezuela's crypto national currency. What? Good evening, Crypto Kai of the RS. I love TA with Mitre from the Nutella Studios Shh. in Greenbow, Alabama. Jalen Hurts to Oklahoma. Here are some twos two 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 I wouldn't even be mad, man, because guess what? I got no ill will for Oklahoma, and I wish Jalen Hurts the best. Um, he deserves uh, all good karma, okay? He And better Oklahoma than freaking Auburn, dude, okay? And that's a great place to think about it. Going to the Big 12 in his situation is probably the absolute smartest move just because it's all offense, right? It's very offense-oriented offense football there, so, like, uh, that's how you, you move your stats up. That's how you get plenty of throws and runs. Porous defenses, uh, stats up, and then you get to show tape, right? You're not sitting out, and uh, you have a chance of winning your conference championship at Oklahoma because it's a storied program uh, with good recruits already set up. Dude, it's like a ready-made uh, program for him to flourish. So I don't know anywhere but Auburn and I'll be happy anywhere dude anywhere okay so whatever for college football people which we have in here uh, it was fun uh, 
it was really fun to hear the news about it because dude that's like such an awesome place for Jalen to go so anyway repel man repel all right uh the cues the cues for mk man okay what we get today oh my goodness man is that a shooting star? Is that an inverted hammer, MK Min? It's no spaceship, all right? Weird thing, we had a gap up here from 165. That was the only thing I was worried about, man, but, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, man, that, that's like, I would, you would think maybe we'd go there, but dude, look at the way the daily closed, man. Is that a joint? Hey, Mitch. Hey, everybody. Mitch. Who do you like for the upcoming baseball season? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't really know uh, baseball. I liked playing it. <clears throat> I mean, I played it for like nine years, but uh, watching it, it's tougher. It's tougher because it's uh, just a different pace of sport. All right, so uh, I don't know, man. I, if I even had an inkling of idea I'd tell you I don't really even have an allegiance to a particular team I guess the Braves because they did things in 1996 when I was a kid all right and one of the World Series games was on my birthday but uh, that's literally it man all right so yeah I know it's confusing Louis Mar Marriott for people like I think you're uh, from England right it's just a college football thing all right so it's just like a subsector of culture here all right that's that's it yeah, Mitch Seption, dude. Why are there two Mitches on screen? It, I should have just, uh, I don't know, man. I don't have, like, I set it up for the overlay and stuff. All right, so uh, you'd think that we'd have some sort of uh, reversal pattern with this right here. That's a lot of rejection up here, isn't it? 163.75 in closing. Pretty much the lowest lows of the day, 162.35. We'll see what happens, man. MK. Normally, you don't get hammers, inverted hammers, and continue running. That's not really how it works. So, uh, will be an interesting day tomorrow. You normally see these at the top of rallies. Just like here, man. Whoa, wow, look at this gap up. Jeez, dude. Hanging man reversal. Bearish Harami reversal. Another hanging man reversal every time there was some sort of bearish pattern that's crazy uh not really here no and this was the beginning of the end really right so but in this pattern though that's really cool all right so here we go man another bearish pattern what will happen i just don't know man all right so okay if we if this was the top we would just go swing low to swing high and we would be looking for retrace, 38%, 50%, 62% retrace, right? Uh, but hey, you could keep going lower if we wanted to, right? Everything's like the trend right now, prevailing trend is lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows since October, early October. All right, so that's it, man. And my thing broke. That's weird. What's up, my boat plans, man? Cryptron Mining, Randy Bobandi. What's up, uh, Vukadin? Zekovic? Hopefully I said that right. Or a bit. Maybe Vukadin. I think Vukadin is good, dude. Uh, Cryptonomicon, normally with the uh, futures expiring and stuff, it's normally an indirect correlation. I mean, like, indirect effect right since everything on that market is cash settled it doesn't really affect crypto sometimes though but like you know if if uh it, it just depends man it's really not uh, a cookie cutter well they're expiring tomorrow it's good or it's bad okay a lot of times it's contradictory okay and you have different performance with that happening sometimes nothing happens at all right self-fulfilling too okay they expired so well, Bitcoin was in a consolidation pattern for a while, and it broke out. Was it really because the futures expired, or is it because we think that? Right. Anyway. Brazilian waxing. I don't know what that is, man. Okay. No idea. So, about Danny Armada, dude? 
Holy crap. Dan Stalas, what's up, dude? Whew. Oh, is that, uh, John Mayo, is that your wanting? Sorry. Okay, I got you, dude. I got you, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, not really much to look at now, huh? But yeah, yeah, we can look at it right now. Okay. CMG Holdings. Boom. Huge green candle on some news of a lawsuit being over. Uh, clearly, uh, pretty easy, right? I mean, you can see it. Not too difficult. One, two, uh, really just like that. Okay, what do we do? What happened? And that's about it. All right. There you go, dude. I broke out. Okay, so daily. Is that a discernible swing high? You're probably going with this swing high here. High to low. We had a 23% retrace. Uh, John, man, that's what literally what we bounced off of 23% from your high to low. All right, so that's at like 59 cents. And uh, we have closed below it. Extreme amounts of volume, highest level of volume we've seen since uh, November, which weird enough, we had even more volume, way more volume, right? So <clears throat> that's it, dude. If this was to be some sort of like, you know, non fool move to the upside, let's see. We're currently, and here's the thing we're at 80 on the RSI on the daily. Okay, so you're probably due for a pullback at some point, but hey, we should expect prices between. My God, no, that's not 57 mother. That's like 5.7% of one cent. Okay. Up 159%. Jeez, dude. Jeez. All right. So if this wasn't to just pump and dump like this or this or this, right? Uh, if we retraced and cooled off a little on the RSI, uh, we'd expect 88% uh, of one cent to 1.34 cents. That'd be a projected uh, target on the breakout. All right. I just don't know if we're going to get there. Dude. Extremely overbought. That's that's telling right there on a daily time scale. All right. So. What's up about Dr. Sauce, man? PewDiePie subbots. I'm just going to tell me, is that even a thing, man? Red Sox, that's right, yeah, Red Sox, man. Red Sox. They were Kangs last year. How many back-to-back -back, uh, World Series have there been? Like, back-to-back -back, uh, World Champs have there been in uh, Major League Baseball? Does anyone know that stat? I'm sure someone will Google it and tell, but uh, it'd be interesting to know. All right, we'll see if uh, the Red Sox can do it. When I was growing and shrinking again, it was funnier than anything you've seen on YouTube. You have a basic sense of humor, Dan. That's okay, man. Nothing wrong with the basic sense of humor, dude, right? You have a feeling or a hunch that uh, Friday will be an interesting day at Fluxor? You know what? It's funny you say that. Okay, it's funny you say that. Is it a hunch or is it an article you read? Okay, because uh, Larley introduced me to a, a something today. Okay. Give me a second. Two seconds. Okay, this is what uh, Marley posted to me today. Hey, what's up, uh, Ripperoo? Thanks for joining the channel again. We're subbing again. All right. What? Namora expects the rally to reverse sharply on Friday, like uh, Fluxor is saying he has a hunch. Okay. Okay, so uh, U.S. equity futures are set to continue the post-Christmas rally boosted by both record liquidity injection in China overnight. That's what's crazy. I think it was like $84 billion? Yeah, $84 billion, right? Infused, you know, the Chinese government putting into the Chinese market, man. Oh, wow, man, free market. Yeah, right. Okay, so... Uh, and a pair of earnings from Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, which were not as bad as some as it had expected. And we can take a look at 
that in a second. We can take a look at um, Goldman Sachs chart. It looks awesome. Uh, but the key catalyst for the continued upside now that the S&P 500 has risen above the key resistance level 2600, which was the 618, uh, maybe the equity force in, which as we discussed and previously commenced yesterday, uh, systematic trend funds uh, reduced the prior max short positions in spider, uh, a couple more indices, uh, notional buying. Okay, I think that's the, what do they call that? The damage control. Uh, as the Nomura strategy just continues with some systematic investors still on the fence about joining in the on the rally as we pointed out Okay, as y'all pointed out. Okay, zero hedge great man uh, The performance of equities continues to dictate the overall cross asset sentiment With the sliding VIX, which is the volatility index. All right, we're losing volatility in a macro calm All right uh, provided by EPS season critical in maintaining this rally and further perpetuating the scramble back into adding exposure from the fundamental discretionary side of the universe. Okay, man. So, anyway. Here we go, man. So, while the technicals suggest there appears to be nothing but smooth sailing ahead for the next 20 or so points in the S&P 500, right? Storm clouds may be gathering, and as Nomura once again cautions, it is worth noting that a tactical sequencing perspective that the bank's September 2018 uh, to January 2019 uh, S&P composite to the October 2007, October 2008 analog, okay, highest correlation between current environment and prior trigger dates uh, of the minus 17% S&P 500 sell-off in 67 days or less, it's right here, right? So, uh, they're correlating two different charts, and we've been selling off. We've rallied, and the same we're right here. We have uh, moves down to go. We're going to make a, a lower high, then our much higher highs, and then break down lower highs or lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and then the moves down would continue. All right, so that's uh, kind of what they're they're saying. So they're saying Friday though. All right, so uh, w this is going to suggest that Friday could mark a local high, and the spider or the S&P 500 for uh, resumption of a negative five percent sell-off over the nine sessions thereafter, before then commencing another extended rally thereafter. All right, so uh, there you go, man. Anyway, really, really nice article. Thanks, uh, Larley. Shout out to him for posting that to me today, and I'm going to share it with you because what's the point? Oops. Um, of not presenting information to the world, right? So there you go. Posted that. If you want to read it, boom, Kangs. All right, big Kangs doing things. Battles, man. FA Cup. We talking about FA Cup. Fundamental is analysis. What? what? <sighs> I'm so far behind on chat. I'm reading off previous streams. Mr. Cantomo, shots fired. Shots fired. Me too, Ripper. Me too, man. Three thousand Bitcoin moved to Bitfinex whale warning seven minutes ago. Uh oh. Well, so far, nothing's really moving. Okay. Please watch chart for dump coming, Mr. Gordeski. Man, okay. We'll go back to Bitcoin. It's a it's a tornado warning, right? Uh, according to y'all. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all be the Doppler radar. Uh, no dump yet. No dump yet. But anyway, man. Okay. We want the move down so we can get a better, we can get a good entry, possibly for a. Buying a harmonic pattern, right? Trade. Glad you're enjoying the new setup, man. That's right, uh, my office is back, man. It's back. Whew. Yeah, man, I think we might just do, we interchange the green screen on special, super special nights, and then not, right? Uh, what's up, two bids? Right, uh, Bill Man. Well, it's like homage to my dad, but it's like really, it's like my jersey, dude, right? So, did a lot of things in that jersey, okay? 
Can we look at uh, Tron Connect? Yeah, dude, we can look at Tron Connect. We're gonna look at Neo, then Tron Connect, all right. I am the one behind, man. No, I did not do D Neo. We're about to do it right now, okay? But we went back here because people were like, 3,000 Bitcoin moved from Bitfinex or to Bitfinex. Uh, nothing's happened yet, all right. Hey man, we fell below the channel. We pivoted and rallied above it. But we broke to the upside. We uh, back tested, used it as a support. And uh, but here's the problem, man. Oh my God, man, we just can't breach the 50 moving average like a joke, dude. Okay, back above the 20, still above the 200. All right, so we were in this like crazy downsloping channel. All right, and we broke out of it, but we're not really doing anything. Okay. Not really particularly that special all right so um need to just stay like we we fell out we we're back in it let's just stay stay in it and it should be fine but uh you know best laid plans of mice and men i don't know how long it's gonna last all right so uh really zooming out what we can see oh this one this is that one right okay so so we <laughs> We have a swing high up here. The only discernible daily swing high, or the most previous one, is up here April 29th, April 30th. Okay, from the high to low, we have not even touched or come close to a 23% retrace at 36.15. I don't even know how we're gonna get there, man. All right, we're gonna try. But uh, we know that uh, the 618 up here, these levels, that's like, that's freaking Mordor. Okay, there's the Eye of Sauron. This is Baradur. All right, but uh, not even close, man. Still just trying to get out of the Shire. Good for you, though, Neo. Good job, man. All right. That's it. I don't know what you want, man. What do you even want? Okay. Your daily your daily high to low. I mean, dude, we didn't even use the the highest high, okay? The breakout of the downsloping channel. We didn't even use that. We're using, being more conservative here, okay? And it's a long way to go for it to get there. Okay. So fractal. I'm waiting for 29.5 to 30 cents. Uh, Vukadin Zekovic. Okay, Mr. Zekovic. All right. I feel, uh, yeah. I shouldn't call you that. Uh, are you drinking the Brazilian Erwin coffee today, Yulia Goskuski? Yeah, it's good. I think I'm way out of that now. How's the uh, new computer running, Captain Happy? Just for curiosity, what case did I get for it? Uh, it is the Corsair Obsidian 500D. That's what I got. This has incredible ventilation. It's fantastic. All right, this is some of the best. It's one of the best mid-case towers uh, money can buy. All right, so I spared no expense reinvesting in, for this stream. All right, so. But uh, the computer's running wonderfully. Uh, the main issue it was the final boss, I think, for the computer was the Logitech Gaming drivers for the the my g5 10s and my logitech mouse so it's a uh, unfortunate i can't monitor and literally see like you know my keyboard has a little dashboard on it, a little lcd dashboard so i can see my gpu and ram i can't do that anymore so that's the only issue but believe me i couldn't even use my pc really it was stuttering and crashing so much i couldn't do anything couldn't even you know anyway so it's good captain abby thanks for asking man thanks for being here i think big one's going down man um we i'd like it to for the sake of a harmonic pattern a potential harmonic pattern that is almost done we're almost completely finished with it okay i like to see 34 20 or 33 43 area Bitcoin hitting that'd be great okay <clears throat> that's perfect English type of spelling your name thanks 
glad uh, I said Mr. Zekovic properly. Awesome, man. Corsair are good. Heck yeah, man. Corsair is quite good. Quite well. Right. What's up, uh, Parl? You really like the new neon electricity bars and waves around? Yeah, right? It's crazy, isn't it, Parl? It's crazy. Shout out to Chalen for always uh, going above and beyond to make things very special. Okay, so that's it. There's your Neo. Long way to go for Neo. Long way to go. Okay, just cracking the downslipping resistance. And if you're to talk about a shorter term trade, uh, really the top of this, okay, the top of the structure of the downslipping channel is up at 33.84. This is where we could expect maybe a short term target. If you're playing the shorter term. Oops, sorry, wrong tool. where you'd want to run to it would make the most sense okay in the short term and that's right at 3400 3380 sats okay cool but longer term way uh, far away right make sure I got the right chart Same stuff, uh, a little bit more progressed than NEO, all right? Uh, Downsliding channel, we have broken out. We are an upsliding channel now, okay? Uh, bouncing off the bottom of the channel, anchor point one, two, and uh, three on the bottom. We broke above it, and uh, we were alive when this all happened, and then dumped all the way down to the bottom of the channel at 20, or 2.16 cents. They have since pivoted and rallied, still above the 200 moving average. We just can't crack the 23% retrace as we discussed as a critical resistance point. Uh, we thought, hey man, we might have been in good shape breaking it here, but once again, failing for the fourth real time to crack it. All right, so uh, soon approaching it again. As long as we keep making higher lows, it'll work itself out. But that's 2.8 cents. But here is the longer term targets for Tron on this crazy breakout where we have been in it really since April 30th of 2018. I mean, we're getting close to a year now. We really cracked it uh, December 16th. Some would include this wick and craziness. I get that, man. I just uh, didn't because I liked a couple touch points I was getting on the hard line that I was not getting. I did this. We still broke out, but uh, there's not really much respect there. There's more respect on the channel if you just do it like that, all right? so. Crazy run, but anyway, we're expecting targets between for Tron For any kind of major move down again if we were to we're looking for 3.9 cents to 5.6 cents That's really the targets of any kind of swing trade or position trade. All right I said currently where are we look left February 6th 2018 March of 2018. Dude, this is it. This is a very strong critical resistance point. Breaking this could be very, very good. All right. So keep your eye on it. Keep your eye on Tron Connect. All right. We have another resistance point up there, too. Two point eight cents. Yes. Coin. You and Mother Effin S coin. Where the cash at? Where the revenue at? Oh my god, dude. All right, that's it. That You know what? We're just going to go ahead and make say that, hey, that was actual a request. Okay, that was Mr. Meme. Okay, dude. I got you, dude. I got you. All right. Um, prepare your ears because there's a little bit of cursing here in this, uh, in this rap song that is the best. It was the best scene of Billions ever. If you don't know, thanks, Skyward. Uh, Billions, season four. Uh, the trailer came out today. It looks fantastic, okay? But we're gonna play a song, a rap song from it. There's like this is like the only rap song ever in Billions, I think, right? So I know you're probably not gonna like it. But we're doing this to really pay respect. 
to uh, Axe Capital and Wags. Dude, thanks, Wags, for the 23 58 contribution. So that's Tron Connect, man. Long way to go. 3.9 cents to 5.6 cents if this trade is to work out. If this down sloping channel cracked is to play. Play ball. I just need to get a something for my stream day where I can hit it and it can be like, you know, that red explicative content or something coming. Whatever. Oh man, it's almost like I'm looking at the same chart here. Oh yeah. ADA to BTC, which was requested, that pair, and chat. I got you, dog. I got you. Okay. So, look at this down sucking channel. Beautiful, man. Ah, oh, my nose itches. All right, uh, we broke out of it, but uh, as soon as we broke out of it, we look when we were breaking out of it, we were just making lower prices. As soon as it was cracked, one more lower high, one more lower low, and a pretty slow, and then it was off to the races somewhat, right? But we had structure of a channel. I mean, plenty of anchor point one, two, three on the top, just one on the bottom, heart line, respect, multitude of times, and see it, right? Golden cross occurred on the 23rd of December. And from a major discernible swing high, this stems back to July, from the high to the low. Targets, here we are, just like just like Tron, trying to crack that 23% retrace. Trying, man, we tried and tried and tried. Okay, trying again. But we're expecting 1,500 to 1,900 cents as the targets for this breakout. There you go, man. Alright. What else for you ADA Cardano addicts? Alright. You got any more ADAs? Yeah, dude. Totally. Now yeah, we've been going hard, man. Been going pretty hard today. A lot of new stuff going on. Reinvesting. It's amazing, dude. That's right, very low volume in Bitcoin right now. Uh Philip or Felipe. I think it's Philip because there's no E, right? Just getting through some chatter, right? And that's part of the song. And that's it, dude. That was it, man. That was literally from Billions, the amazing, one of the best shows ever. Love it, man. Love it. We did it, man. We did it. There you go, Wags, dude. Enjoy your sushi. Don't drench it in soy sauce, okay? Much love, brother. I got it, man. Dang, dude, this is so difficult. There it is. Kind of loud, kind of good, kind of bad. Thanks so much for the 174 people tuned in between Twitch and YouTube. You could be doing anything, but you're here. Uh, feel free to hit that like button, that bell, that sub. Uh, it looks like we're at 188 likes. Do we want to go for 200 likes or do we want to stay at 188 likes? I can completely understand if we don't want to go any more likes because that's such a wonderful number, right? But if uh, we hit 200 likes, I'm going to get the first beer I've had, I think, since Saturday. Okay. And I only had like one beer on Saturday. So, uh, all right, that's it. That is the, the rule. 200 likes, beer time, all right? Beer 30. Oh, also, by the way, your local on the 8s. Sweet man. Oh, by the way, a Bitcoin. Awesome, man. Okay, nothing's developed. Uh, holding that support at 3567, the support we've been holding from uh, you know, the 11th or the 10th and the 12th. And uh, we also held it on the 27th of December. We held it as resistance on the 9th of December. And then we held support multiple times the 25th, 26th of November. Okay, so this is a very critical line, a battleground for bears and bulls. All right, so it's no wonder why we're holding it right now. Okay. There's 
think we're gonna. No, you know. Running your conference. Oh wait, hold on. That's wrong, dude. I was looking. Okay, I was looking at the other one. My bad, dude. I thought we were at. Uh... Okay, so I had that other video up for Oklahoma Jalen Hurts thing, and I went to it and saw it. And I'm like, 188 likes. That's extremely. Uh, extremely high. Okay, we never get that this early. In dude, we're an hour, not even an hour in the stream. I was like, dude, how do we, someone botting the likes? So I highly doubt we're there. What do, I don't even have my other one open right now. Hold on. That's, I made a fatal mistake, man. Hold on, I got this. So we won't hit 200 likes, probably, but uh, still pull into it. All right, 110 likes. All right, we'll go 100, 150 likes. 150 likes, I'll get a beer. Okay, we've got 40 more, 162 watching on YouTube. So uh, that's that's the rule. All right, don't know if we'll get there. That's okay, man. All right, just a little goal. Another thing for the 18th, you keep getting an odd feeling about the 18th. What, Fluxor, man? What are you talking about, dude? Uh, the 18th Friday, I know, right? CCCP probes, man. Whew. Okay, two bits. Okay, what, dude? What, man? Yellow plaid shirt for the second time, Eric Coffee, and I'm glad you noticed, man. Yeah, dude, this is the second time I've ever worn this shirt, okay? What's up, Mike T? Hey, uh, Gary Dawson, uh, I'm having, yeah, I'm having a pretty great evening. Okay, the green lights are going on in the office. All kinds of changes going on. Oh, fireworks, yeah, I forgot. This is like the first time I think I've ever done fireworks. They're new. Okay, well, they're new, but they're old. Okay, it works, it works, man. And that was for Psycho. Can someone explain those butterfly drawings on the chart? Yeah, they're called harmonic patterns and uh, they're just geometric um, patterns that you see and they're testament to predictable patterns, a testament to history repeating itself time and time again and they are uh, a more advanced form of technical analysis, all right? Like uh, they're you know the equivalence of like an Elliott wave world, right? They're just their own thing, okay, so, but, we're waiting for an entry around 33.43 to 34.20. All right, that's that's the area that really gives validity to this pattern because so far it's perfect. It's perfect. We need one more leg down to get what we're looking for. Okay, that's it. Matrix saw is it? I don't know. Let me make sure. I'll see if I can help you there because sometimes Shazam's terrible. No, it's not called uh, that, Matrix Saw. It's not called that. It's called like Illumia, I know. That's what it's called, okay. Or something, or Sound Quell Chakra, okay. So about Big One Bar, man. You didn't just one giant wedge, dude. Well, we, we had a wedge and we broke out uh, bearishly of it hardcore, all right? And it was potential. It was uh, really nasty. I look good on the uh, 4K, your new 4K TV, Mr. Schaffer, man. Well, I'm glad uh, you like it, dude. Glad you like it. Let me know how those graphics at the beginning of the show were on your 4K. Okay, man. No, oh, dude, I have no idea. Okay, about the fundamentals of metaverse Walton coin I know they have a terrible marketing a very very sketchy marketing department that they faked a, they faked a giveaway and got caught doing it captain happy do you even know about that did you remember that that happened in spring of last year it was hilarious but it was probably devastating for a lot of people okay so oh man that thing's off just a little my chart screen hold on I had a little some issues give me a second all right there we go that's better right here we go oops 
Let me do something real quick. Transform. Let me pinpoint here, okay? Hands of the surgeon. Cap up. There it is. Perfect. So my uh, the, the numbers, like the dates, were getting cut off down there. So don't can't have that. If we look at uh, the candle, red candle from January 13th support, could we make Bitcoin be in a wedge pattern, Pablo? Can we make it? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, all I know is we're forming, we have a huge impulse down and we're forming some sort of exhaustion flag, right? The exhaustion flag. Uh, but if you want, let's do something real quick, okay? We're gonna go clean slate here for you, Pablo. restart my PC a bunch today. Give me two seconds. Gosh dang it. Whoops. There we go. Okay. There we go. Here's Bitcoin nice and clean. And you're asking, let's see what you're saying, Pablo, man. If we take the red candle from January 2013, or 20, or what is it, the 13th of January? Dude, what? 13th? You're probably the 17th, right? I don't understand. The red candle. Are you talking about just like here, the 16th or whatever, and doing it like this? I don't understand, man. What you mean, Pablo? Can you like do something in Discord for me and show me what you're talking about? So I can make sense of what you mean, what you mean, homie, right? I don't understand. I just don't get it. I mean, clearly we got this going on, right? We know we have that, but that's the channel, right? I don't see how much anything else makes sense, all right? I'm talking about here and here. Eh. I'm talking about here and here. Nothing makes sense, right? We had a descending triangle of some sort, right? That was really what killed us. That was like the end all be all. So I'm just kind of see what you're saying, Pablo, man. January of 2019. Oh, okay. My bad, dude. Whoops. You're talking about asking about a wedge? I don't think so, man. January of 2019. Uh, you're trying to, I don't know, I mean, that's a lot of white space, dude. It's a lot of white space. It's barely. You're probably talking about this, right? Pablo, man. Dude, it's almost just, like, it's almost not. It's just pretty much a channel, dude. Look, I, like, you'll never even, you're converging, like, way down here, man. Like, sure, maybe you could call it a wedge, maybe. All right, I guess I get that, man. I guess I see what you're saying. Some sort of wedge. Okay, dude, we got like, uh, what, 29 more likes for a beer. Come on, I haven't drank since Saturday, so y'all hook me up. And remember, you need uh, five touch points. We do not have five touch points yet. Oh, Pablo, my. Okay, I get you, though, dude. I kind of get what you're saying, dude. All right, here's Pablo's mind. Pablo's mind. Okay, so uh, I get you, dude. I get what you're saying, all right? But... Just something in me, man. Something in me just is like, why can't we just do this too? So maybe your wedge, but I don't want your wedge to play out because I want this to play out, dude. 60% to retrace. 78% retrace. And then I want this right here. Give me, give me my 78% retrace, okay? Give it to me, dude. So we can be Kangs down here and bust out. All right? That's it, Bob man. 
Very good though, man. Uh, big round of applause for Pablo. Shout out to him. Uh, great perception. Because I, I definitely see that. And uh, it's not valid yet because there's only four, touch, four real touch points. But anyway. <laughs> You know, it could still work out. What, what if we it take we take our sweet time to get down here to like 33, 40, all the way down here? Then we'd have that valid pattern on my side, right? Boom. Love it, dude. Love it. That's awesome, man. Really cool. And this is what it takes, man. It takes um, more eyes than mine. I need your help, chat. The whole point of this is um, I help give the fishing pole, and then you say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna help Ray look for things, okay? Helping him. And that's it, we're a team, we're a community, we're all looking out for things together. That's how it works. One mind is or not near as good as a multitude of minds, all right? 170 minds, okay? Whew. Let me just catch up on some chat. What? What is it, uh, U.S. government announcing a license for fintech firms? Uh-oh, Louis Men. uh-oh. So Christian says uh, 107,432 Bitcoin, or that's 398 million and change transferred from Binance to unknown wallet. You don't even have one? Uh-oh, Christian, uh-oh. That is a lot of money. That's a stupid amount of money, man. Thanks, Mr. Shaver, man. Glad to glad you like it, man. It's just a new thing, a new little feature for the show, dude. All right? It's like it's, this is the first stream. Y'all are all witness to the first stream I've ever had with two cameras, two cams. All right? I don't even have it on this uh, this source right now or the scene. Okay. Sweeping out of Pablo, man. What if we hit the 2K area again? We haven't, we haven't hit that in a long time. If we do, man, that's uh, really bad. Uh, we'll, you'll know about it on this show. We'll be watching it happen. Okay, 2K is very, very far away, man. Way, way down here. Okay. Uh, I would expect us to make a nice break to the upside. A much, much lower high than our previous high first. Uh, I don't. I think this is towards the end, right? Look, man, it's the exhaustion flag. We see it over and over and over again. All right? Over and over and over again. So, uh, okay, let's, uh, here's a, do we want a prime example of exhaustion? We can do that. We'll see if we can do this. Because we've done this before, we did with Nia. That was just one example. We're going to go just look at a random other example. Okay. Okay. Here's all I. We're inversing this chart so you can just get a good feel. We're going to just go to random Goldman Sachs, the top performer on the stock market today. Huge run on meh earnings. Currently, say 83 on the RSI. Give me a break, dude, right? But you're talking about exhaustion, man. Here it is. What does this look like to you? Like, holy crap, all right? <laughs> I mean, it almost looks the same, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, it's just that psychological aspect of charts where you have a huge impulse up. Is that a joint? Word around the block, Mitch is saying XRP to hit 40 to 49 cents soon. Well, we would like to hit 29.5 cents to 30 cents first. And if we can hold that support, that support we've been holding on to since July of 2017, if we can hold that, then yeah, we do have a, a likelihood of breaking to the upside and uh, being Kangs. Gang, man, gang. Thanks for the uh, 420 contribution. Now it's Cobb, man. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, he's got all, I mean, he's like the smartest XRP guy out there in terms of uh, giving you breaking news. All right. But uh, yeah, man, we just see the technicals in here, and he's the king of repel, man. All right, so yeah, dude, I don't know if you saw the analysis, but uh, 
That's pretty promising, man. We're, we're pretty close to hopefully bottoming out because if we don't, man, it'd be very bad technically for Ripple. If you can't hold a support that's been going on since July 2017, you're in some serious trouble. Okay, so uh, we can look at it again. But, uh, you know, hey, here's the thing. With, uh, there's Goldman Sachs, right? Exhaustion. There was uh, no area to accumulate. No areas of good value. So we just kept on running. And uh, eventually demand dried up on Goldman Sachs and we formed a beautiful, beautiful head and shoulders pattern and uh, destroyed, okay, destroyed to the bottom of the channel, but have since run up on the earnings. Oh my God, it's rallied the market some, okay. But uh, you can clearly see what I'm talking about. No one's getting the opportunity, okay. No one's getting the opportunity to go short and make us move down, right? That's not happening, okay? So we're getting exhausted on the selling, all right? It's just getting tougher and tougher to find people who actually want to short this crap, all right? So anyway, hope you get it, man. We've already done that uh, kind of analysis before, but I think it's important to understand that the reason why we see things happen over and over and over again is literally the psychology of the buyer and the seller, okay? Charting isn't just, oh, it's all Fugazi, man. It's real, it's real. And patterns develop because of certain things that the those people are, and what they're doing, what their action is, okay? So anyway, good stuff on Goldman Sachs, top performer. Gapped up, extremely high volume, highest amount of volume we've seen since uh, April 2017, dang. Anyway, we can go back to Ripple for the Cobb Man the Kang. We're just going back to that bit for the next chart and plot it. Okay. So we've got a broadening bottom going on, which uh, unfortunately, you know, in this, any kind of context, like the move down, it's a bearish continuation pattern. All right. But the, fortunately for us, the uh, measured move of this pattern would probably just put us down near that entry. Okay. So this is what, uh, you know, XRP is doing and really for Pablo man Pablo this looks similar now this is a valid which one two three four five six seven touches on this wedge so way more established pattern than Bitcoin's right Pablo then so uh big cob man okay man all right look at this dude here it is multiple touch points we crazy FOMO <laughs> But here we are again, bouncing off of it, double bottoming. Here we are again, bouncing off, great trade setups. Oh, oh my God, so nice. And so here we are, <clears throat> maybe soon approaching it again to maybe bounce. And if we could hold above that support and we could break out of this falling wedge, this downside resistance, we could see a measured move of this wedge at 59.9 since that's the golden mean ratio. Yeah, golden mean ratio from your high to low. <clears throat> But we could uh, see possibly a minimum of 40 cents, 47, 48 cents, 54 cents, the, you know, 50% retrace. Okay, but then again, 59.9, pretty much 60 cents is your measured move. All right, so that's it, man. All right, we broke out of the down seven channel we've been in all year. We're still outside of it. Okay, so that's it, man. Okay, 130 likes, 20 more likes. Do you think we can get 20 more likes? I can get a beer, man, and uh, take load off, man. Been... <sighs> People say, oh, streaming's so easy, dude. Okay, like, it might look easy, dude, but the amount of hours I put in not while not on stream, I've, like, killed myself, okay, to make this stuff all work, okay? So, um, let's do it, man, okay? It's been, like, uh, I don't know, rough few streams, you know, viewership's been down, likes have been down. Uh, let's get it, man. Get it for the home team, that 150 likes, all right? That's not even many, okay? That's like Alex Cobb gets that on a bad day, 150 likes, okay? So, anyway, scroll through some chat from behind. Diego asks, uh, Mitch can use Fibonacci in combination with a bull flag pattern. If so, what's the target? Uh, normally, you're, dude, it is said that uh, some of the best flags only retrace 23% of the way. Yeah, some of them do. Now, 38% retrace, you're fine, but you start getting the 50% retraces, uh, maybe they're not real bull flags anymore, okay? You want pretty shallow retraces on those flags, okay? You don't want them to be that steep, okay? Diego, I hope that helps, man. 
Uh, you only see one camera. What are you missing here? Uh, well, you know what, man? Let's do this thing, okay? Because I have not yet implemented it into the stream at all, besides just the starting soon. Man. Thanks for watching. Okay. Here it is, man. It's uh, just the other cam. I don't like that. So, oh, how's the PC doing, man? Oh, here it is, man. Here it is. All right, so that's the uh, two 1080 Ti's, uh, the NZXT coolant or cooler, the Corsair Vengeance 3600 hertz megahertz RAM. It's 48 gigs of RAM in there. Uh, you know the RGB fans, the Corsair uh, 20 millimeter. RGB fans, and uh, it really got screwed up, man. Uh, it's not exactly ideal for what I wanted. Cable management, yeah, get it, man. Uh, my IT guy said this, there's more cables in this PC than he's ever seen or ever worked on, which I understand. So uh, it's hard to manage those cables. Very, very tie wrapped and stuff. So uh, and of course the thread ripper behind that beautiful, beautiful cooler. All right. So that's it, dude. Let me do it like this, man. Okay, that looks much, much better right there. Perfect. There we go. So we can turn that on anytime we want. Mr. Javin, man. Dude, thanks so much for the uh, 300. Super PC. Thanks for the uh, 308 bits. Yeah, dude, I did not have time today to mess with that jar. I have to get the script for the invisible jar and stuff. ASMR style. Gold means a man's cans must be cracked ASMR style. Wow, y'all did it. Holy crap. Thanks for the 150 likes, y'all. I really appreciate that. Y'all give me uh, two seconds, okay? Hold on. I don't even know if I have one in my fridge up here, so I might have to run downstairs. But hold on one second. I'm going to turn the music up. Uh, and maybe I could do it like this. Let's see the webcam. Let's see if we can get Bitcoin price. Whoa, what? That was wrong. Oh, that's webcam one. That's webcam two. So we can do it like this. Okay, I do have a BRB screen, but I've not implemented it yet. Okay, so we can have it like that. Go back to Bitcoin while I get that beer. Because, uh, yeah, thank y'all. Really appreciate that. Okay. Okay, man. Still holding on to that 3567 support for now. Julia, thanks again for the 1618 golden mean contribution. Something about ASMR. Oh, the crack can. My bad. I just don't know if people uh, want to hear it. I know you do. I just forget. Okay. Try not to be too loud on the mic. I have a sound clip that's not on my stream day. Let me see if I can find it. your lips it's so good okay hilarious dude thanks so much y'all uh, just for getting us over the goal line all right <clears throat> you want me to buy a couple of 55 inch 4k tvs to be monitors for me it should be spacious desktop for most people uh captain happy man i think i'm a little set kind of on the monitors for now that is kind of the next thing i can't really increase the power of my pc anymore so i'm kind of uh stuck with monitors that's like the next investment all right just keep getting better monitors all right <clears throat> you 
You just did a transfer yesterday from your exchange in Chile to Australia. 60,000 of XRP, literally in eight seconds. Just incredible tech. Buy Swift. Yeah, dude, that's amazing, dude. Pablo, man. That's fantastic. All right. You hope this is a straight 1K drop. Bitcoin, Bitcoin buyer? I don't know, man. I don't think so. All right. It's amazing to see it in front of your face, Cobman Kang. What it? It's a vague pronoun, dude, right? Or oh, you're talking about uh, the transaction speed of XRP? Yeah, man, totally. If it wants to get to a uh, thousand, I think even if we get to a thousand, man, I think we're still going to make a major retrace to the upside on Bitcoin, and somewhere up here, and we, we can fib it. From your high up here to your low, I think we could talk this 50% retrace, 60% retrace, 70% retrace, right? I think these are areas, all right, so we'll rally and then we'd finally top out daily bearish divergence and then dump again and make lower lows in a previous low. It's gonna take longer than you think, man, all right? Longer than you think to get to a thousand, all right? I think the next move isn't really, and maybe we go down, but dude, uh, I think the next move would be more so up and then down. But it just doesn't make sense, man. We lost over half our value. Retraces happen all the time, dude. All right, there's just no areas, no real good areas for people to take short positions up down here, okay? It was just straight down. What's up, uh, Kiki Coolin? Melissa! How would you just people in the house? I'm dying of thirst, Fluxor. That's right, dude. That's right, man. That's right, I'm fine on chat a little bit. I don't know, we had a really efficient, productive stream today. Uh, finally, the technology woes I've had it seems to be the, the storm clouds are parting and uh, maybe we can party a little bit because of it. All right, I'm happy. Okay, busted it, man. I've been busting it. Hey, Skyward, man. What's up, dude? Remembering your suggestion to doing some Friday theme to the channel, YouTube is entertainment would get people hooked hopefully people are kind of hooked already right uh you know but uh i don't know man i feel like you know friday thing we kind of do it's called byob it's like bring your own beer and we play drinking games and stuff so thanks uh blood sword man holy crap man bitcoin uh buyer we actually augmented it because i was looking at the wrong like video or something i thought it was mine it, it was but it was just a previous stream okay Where again, where is the beige cases? What bay? Sue Bay? Lisa Sue? <clears throat> Next bull run subscribers go at least 25,000. But Bitcoin isn't that popular anymore to the FOMO Joes. FOMO Joes. Well, not Joe Schmo, but now FOMO Joes. Well, Bitcoin ATM, your city is gone since one week. Is it gone? That sucks, dude. I, I don't know, man. Again, like sub count. It's whatever, man. All right. It's all good, dude. UFO landing, Dr. Sauce, man. Thanks, dude. Now you're making me all self-conscious about my my uh, computer, man. Sorry, dude. There it is. It's gone now. Dr. Sauce, dude. What's up, Dave Jones, man? How are the oscillators on XRP neutral? I don't know, dude. Hold on. Probably, yeah, since Bitcoin's uh, neutral. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, XRP on the daily, pretty bullish. Bullish convergence, man, on that daily time scale. Pablo, man, which is good. That's, like, why we really like 29.5 to 30 cents, okay? So, oh, Julia, I like the purple. It's a lot, to, a lot more chill in here. Okay, thanks. Whew. Who doesn't want to hear that? I don't know, Julia. It just might be loud. I don't know. I can do it next time. Assuming you get me to the second beer. All right. What's up, two bits, man? Thanks for the emote, man. Really appreciate those emotes all day. Okay. XRP Stewart, man. You like the you like the shirt, dude? Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Better monitors can't make charts look better or worse. Oh, well, technically, yes, it can. All right. It actually can make them look better, but the price action is not going to change, right? So technically, yes, but technically, no at the same time, right? It's a weird world we live in with technicals. The word technical. 
Delta walk here, dude. Walkhead says uh, Bitcoin Rising Wedge moved to 3100 area to match the left inverse head and shoulder. Oof. What? Walkhead, man, what? No, wait a minute. 3100. That's not an inverse head and shoulder, dude. That's no moon. Pablo, man, I'm not seeing a rising wedge. Dude. You can post if you will. Hold on. Yeah, Julia. Yeah, somewhat. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 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 Julia, that looks uh, looks pretty good. Price contraction and the volumes drying up. I mean, somewhat. Uh, bullish convergence. That's not bullish divergence, right, Julia? So uh, big moves coming to the upside, downside. We're hoping, we're looking for a move to the downside so we can get some nice, adequate targets for a bullish Carly trade setup. All right, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, it'd be uh, really, really bad technically if Bitcoin went to a thousand. Captain, have yes, that'd be awful. And, and it's not to say it's out of the realm of possibility. Anything's possible, okay? Because guess what? If we wake up tomorrow and Bitcoin's trading at a hundred dollars, it's going to serve the exact same purpose purpose it served at twenty thousand. All right, so it's a store of value. But guess what? That's really bad for many other alts, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, there's not enough uh, margin, right? Uh, okay. There's not enough margin for error, and there's not enough uh, return. Okay, we're, we're waiting. We're just wait, playing the waiting game, okay? The tide is coming in. All right. Bill Battleman. We'll see. Everyone keeps saying the tide. All right. The tide, the tide, the tide. Christian riddles. Am I riddling? Am I the Riddler, dude? William says a lot of Bitcoin was transferred to a diverse exchange. It will go into a stable coin at first, and from there it could be actively traded throughout the market over the course of the weekend. Uh oh, or not the weekend. Okay. You want to do something crazy, man? I learned about this today. I mean, listen to this. Student debt is a driver. For a low millennial home ownership rates, uh, I mean, this is kind of like common knowledge stuff. I guess people know this, but uh, definitely good to look at. Oh, yeah, man, I'm a ghost, man, I'm a ghost. Okay, this is it. Bloomberg, all right. You know, American home ownership has been on the decline. The Federal Reserve uh, researchers point to the high cost of college as one culprit. Oh, certainly, right? Certainly. Just 36% of household heads between 24 and 32 years old owned homes in 2014. That's down from 45% in 2005. At the same time, average student debt per capita rose to an inflation adjusted 10,000 from 5,000 in 2005. My God. Okay. So we got uh, double the amount of debt that we had in 2005, just like we're in debt. The country's in debt 50% more, according to the IMF. Wow, man. Uh, about 20% of the decline in home ownership among young adults can be attributed to that uh, increase in student loan debt, making such borrowing an important but not central driver of the decline. Some 400,000 more young people would have owned homes in 2014 if the debt burdens had not risen. Okay, so, so why does this happen? It's partly because higher student loans early in life leads to lower credit scores later in life, making it harder for former students to take out mortgages than their extremely high debt already. So it's like, if you're in debt, you pretty much have a mortgage, okay? God, some of the people I know, um, they, they're like, they, yeah, it's pretty much a mortgage, right? You're, own, you're paying like 1,400 plus a month when that's pretty much a decent mortgage. And you know, obviously that's a modest part of real estate in the country where if you go to like somewhere in Los Angeles, or New York or you know any metropolitan you know Dallas or Austin you're talking about you know two thousand dollars plus three thousand dollars plus just for rent for you know, a month not including utilities or just any kind of just eating you know food leisure uh, utilities and all that so all 
All right, so this finding has implications well beyond home ownership as credit scores impact consumers' access to and cost of nearly all kinds of credit, including auto loans and credit cards. And this is the uh, Fed Board authors of Alvaro Meza, Daniel Ringo, and Camilla Sommer. As policymakers evaluate ways to aid student borrowers, they must, or they, they may wish to consider policies that reduce the cost of tuition. Jeez, man. Crazy man. All right, just this way, like, saw this today, and I'm just like, man, uh, my generation, dude, my poor generation has been eviscerated. Okay, I hate it, man. I really do. And so that's why uh, finding healthy hobbies, hobbies that can make you money, uh, might be a good idea for a lot of millennials, right? And Gen Z after that coming up. So, <sighs> so stupid. In other news, <laughs> it's so funny. I posted this in Discord, right? Clemson Tigers get invite to Michelin-starred restaurant to make up for Trump's fast food spread. Holy crap! Uh, President Donald Trump's White House fast food feast for reigning college football champions, Clemson University, uh, ignited a social media storm on Monday. Flurries of tweets and memes poked fun of the spread, which consisted of a report of three thousand dollars worth of McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King. Burgers, filet of fish sandwiches, chicken McNuggets, Domino's pizza, and a few salads all in their paper and plastic packaging, but served on silver platters. Good God, now some of the country's culinary elite and even a celebrity are inviting the players for a better celebratory dinner that does not involve taking or takeout or ketchup packets. Good God, man. All right. Let's we'll see. Uh, Tuesday night, Nick Kakanas, co owner of Alina, or Ali Nia in Chicago, which has three Michelin stars and is co uh, consistently named one of the world's best restaurants, tweeted, I could care less, which he's wrong, because uh, we all know I could care less is terrible, man. He means I could not care less. All right, don't say that wrong like this guy, okay? He's so successful but can't say I couldn't care less about, a college, about college football. So he's saying I could care less. Well, why don't you care less, man? All right. But I'm personally inviting the Clemson Tri Tigers team and coaches to Chicago to experience what an actual celebration dinner should be. He said that he was not joking and tagged the Clemson Tigers. I wonder why he's doing that. Is he doing it because it's the right thing to do? Or is he doing it because that's uh, he knows it's a wonderful marketing ploy? Yeah, that's probably it, right? So, uh, But yeah, no, I, I feel bad too for uh, Clemson Tigers. That, that's stupid, man. Like... My team got wrecked by them, and I think that is ridiculous what President Trump did. And was it even his choice? Uh, do we have any evidence that it was his decision to, you know, do that, man? Really? Anyway, what are they? Uh, I guess they're on a budget, man. All right. I guess we're paying for it, technically, right? The taxpayers will be paying for that hoity-toity food. So good on Trump for not uh, using taxpayer money for extravagant meals. Kappa, but not Kappa at the same time. You get it. There's two sides of the coin here. All right. Anyway, that's uh, another funny thing. All right. So, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if y'all got a kick out of that. Okay. It's something I'm kind of doing. All right. We're just looking at uh, news and stuff like that, reading it, having fun, learning things, not just charts. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Let me get some feedback. All right. Red alert, says William Battles. Oh, my God. Let's see. Dang, man. I think I've not missed much chat. I don't think much chat has left, so... Bloomberg TV sees Bitcoin bottom at 1500 Oh, man. Bloomberg is so smart, dude. Okay. Even though we just looked at one of their articles. But that's all factual stuff, like with statistics and all that. All right. Uh, Mr. Zekovic, we've looked at uh, Repel multiple times, dude. Okay. Mr. Schaffer is looking to get a vertical monitor soon. Had to reinstall his video card like 10 times to get everything to work. So. So you know the pain, and uh, yep, keep investing yourself in the show. Thanks, Mr. Shabberman. Much love, dude, okay? 
Greg Morgan just says Tide Pods. That's right, dude. Tide Pod Challenge, Friday night, cap up. So blank, man. Have a good one, dude, all right? Bitcoin Death Cross. Yep, we got it yesterday. We got it yesterday, Arcade man. It sucks, dude. It sucks. Patrick Brown says he watched the whole event at the White House. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty cool event. Players enjoyed themselves. Yeah, you have to, right? Kind of have to save face and enjoy yourself. Being at the White House, but getting fast food? Really? <sighs> yeah, it's true, Kevin Abbey. It's true. Very true. It's like two sided. Double-edged, right? <sighs> XRP H1, what H1? H1N1 virus. What's up, Alparo? What is it? What, sorry, I just missed my chat. It's reported uh, his favorite food, personally, it's fast food for years. Ugh, that's gross. How's the oscillator on Bitcoin? Oscillators. Uh, Bearish convergence, lower highs, lower levels of relative strength. Excuse me. Um. See lower, <clears throat> lower highs, higher levels of positive momentum. A little bit of a hidden divergence, somewhat. <clears throat> Excuse me for Bitcoin. But again, we can't crack the seventy-five percent trend line. We failed. Uh, look, how many times? One time, two, three. Uh, eh, this one didn't really count. This was kind of disregarded, right? Four and five support uh, six and seven times we're failing to break above it. Okay, we've done that in the history of this down sloping channel. All right, so just rejecting prices. Uh, we've got about uh, 16 minutes left till the daily close. Been live now an hour and 40 minutes. So if you're enjoying this live stream, please hit that like button, that bell, that sub. We do have 169 likes. Cue the sound clip. I feel so good. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all the likes. Okay. It's been a rough couple weeks with all this tumultuous tech stuff, but it seems as the, the waters are calming and I just can't be happier, okay? The only fast food I would, I would not be offended by going to the White House would probably be Chick fil A. That's about it, okay? <sighs> <clears throat> What's up, uh, Sam Easy dude? That plus the Ethereum fork is so bad for the market. Eh, you know, whatever, man. The Ethereum fork, oh man, dude. Like, dude, what was gonna happen when the Ethereum fork launched? Oh my God, dude, the sentiments changed. Ethereum's gonna be kings. Right, say it launches on time. What's really gonna happen? Nothing, okay, nothing. It doesn't provide any more value to this market, it's just another S coin forking. Wow, man, wow. You might get a pump, but then you're gonna dump, all right? So, thanks for the 151 people still watching. All right, I appreciate it. We've had an extremely good stream. Uh, it's just gone as good as one could hope for as a streamer, okay? So, anyway, yeah, man, we're waiting for prices to reach 3,300 to 3,400. For potential entries on the FIB extensions, okay, from B to C, as well as the X to A retrace, that is 78.6%. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. Waiting, man. Waiting for Ripple to hit 29.5 cents to 30 cents to hit that bottom trend line again. We're waiting. Play the waiting game. All right. That's all you can do. 90% of trading is waiting. Okay. 10% is uh, investing in yourself. Okay. Setting your chart up, plotting, identifying patterns. Identifying oscillators, coinciding those oscillators with the patterns, with the critical supports, resistances, right? But that's a crazy 10% of okay. them. Excuse me. It is 125 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in some areas of Australia. Hey, I read that uh, New Zealand, there's like a hole in the uh, ozone. So they get like some of the most intense UV rays in the world. Is that true? For old New Zealand, the Kiwis and the Saurons. 
of our time. Okay, so, uh, all right, y'all. Guess I'm out of things to do. Uh, we covered some news and stuff, some crazy, you know, just whatever, Clemson stuff. We covered the, the real estate and millennials and student debt, whatever. New emoji balls, new alerts and all that. Anyway, so uh, I guess what's going to happen is I'll just be back tonight. Okay, we'll be back tonight. Maybe we can drink some more beer. Right? So uh, I really appreciate y'all the like, the likes, the love, the dislikes, and the contributions, the new subs, the old subs, everything. I really appreciate y'all. Okay, so I'll be back. Love it Eastern. So until next time, respect the T A.
Just keep and just 